Hello everyone, and welcome back to Roblox High School 2. So you might be asking, why are you playing this game? And more importantly, why is my dog Misha here? Well, you can't really see that, but there you go. He's right over here. So this is my dog Misha. So you might be wondering, why is he here? And why are we playing Roblox High School 2? Well, this game is actually a tradition on the channel. I've had it since ninth grade, and I originally played it because I didn't really have a way to fully end off the school year normally in ninth grade, because that was in June 2020 when I finished ninth grade. Obviously, I couldn't go into school at all, so I decided to play Roblox High School 2. I continued that as a tradition in 10th grade. Even though I did go to school, I still played Roblox High School 2 on the last week of school, and I am continuing that tradition this year, despite despite going to school every day in person and also doing the same last year. But you know what? It's a tradition, so we're just going to continue with it. And Misha is here because in ninth grade, I think there was somebody doing something with my hot water heater uh, downstairs, and Misha had to be in my room, so I decided to film this video with Misha, and I had him here in tenth grade as well, so he's here again. He's part of this tradition, so Misha will always be part of the Roblox High School 2 last video of the school year tradition. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Select age. Okay, so they updated this game a lot, and I actually haven't played this game. Misha. I actually haven't played Roblox High School 2 literally since last summer, literally since last June. I haven't played it since the 10th grade special, so I have no idea what the new stuff they added. Like, they said that they added some new stuff. Apparently, they had their biggest update ever recently. Let's be a teen. Uh, let's, let's be a junior, because this is the last week of my junior year of high school. Welcome to the wonderful town of Starcadia Bay. Okay, I already don't recognize anything here. A lot has changed since we were last here. Yep. And I'll be showing you some of the new stuff that's available now. Okay. Uh, before you head to school... Oh, Misha's getting up. Yeah, let me readjust the camera. <laughs> See, I don't have the second camera like I did last year, so every time Misha moves, I'll, I'll, I'll readjust the camera. <laughs> before you head to school, let's get you dressed up. Open the avatar editor. I don't care about the avatar editor. Where is the avatar editor? All right, here. I don't really care. I, I like my penguin. Here, you can wear any item on Roblox. Save your favorite outfits. Yeah, I don't really care. That's okay. Uh, change here to, or click here to change your nickname. Nah, I don't need to do that. I think I'm good. My nickname's good. Alright, principal sent this random person to detention. That's great. Looks great. Okay, I didn't change anything. When it's up, what is this guy doing? Okay. When it's time for class, you'll get a pop-up at the top of your screen. Okay, I'll probably be ignoring the classes until, like, the end of the episode. Attend class and earn credits. Oh, I think I might have scared Misha. Credits can be used to buy all kinds of items around town. Alright, nice. Earn XP and level up to receive bonus rewards over time. Better grades mean better rewards. Oh, so I actually... Oh, yeah, you do do stuff. I forgot about that. You do stuff in this game, actually, and you can get graded. Okay, I don't recognize the school already. Wow. Yeah, they actually changed everything here. Okay. <laughs> They've been doing that with a lot of games recently, like Ultimate Driving, I don't freaking recognize anything in Ultimate Driving. And also, I'll probably naturally be like looking up like to my monitor over here, that's where my camera is. Hey, Misha. <laughs> Whenever I make any movements, Misha kind of gets confused, because he's not used to being like at my desk over here. So I'll probably be looking up here a lot, subconsciously, because that's where my camera usually is, but I moved it down here just so it's easier to see Misha too, over here. So yeah, this is a different angle, you, you usually don't get this angle uh, in my videos, so there you go. Anyway, as per the tradition, Typically what I do first is I go to my house, but first of all, I don't even know how to find my house or whatever because they changed this so much, like, geez. But usually I would go to my house and I would basically do an extremely long rant about the school year, which I will do. And after that, I'll go to the school and simulate a day of classes. I mean, I don't know if they changed the actual floor plan of the school, but whatever, I'll, I'll do a makeshift day of classes. And by the way, I'm recording this on June 12th, it's a Sunday today, and I literally have two more days of school left and that's literally it i just have tomorrow monday and tuesday so literally two more days left of actual school we're probably not really going to be doing anything in any of my classes unless i have some exams coming up which i do i have two regents exams so in english and physics are probably going to be the only two classes where i'm actually going to be doing stuff stay connected with everyone okay yeah i don't don't really care that's okay with the eye sender you can text your friends yeah 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 i don't really care again two days of school left and exams so actually on wednesday i have the english regents so this video is most likely gonna premiere what is this guy doing i don't even know <laughs> but this video is most likely gonna premiere on wednesday probably 4 p.m wednesday because that's after my english regents and after that that'll probably feel like the true start of summer i do have another regents on the 23rd that's my physics regents so yeah the weird thing is oh misha 
So the weird thing is, I literally have the first regents being administered and the last regents being administered. And those are the only two regents I'm taking. I was actually supposed to do the US history, which would have been on June 1st, but that was cancelled. So I literally would have taken the very first regents, the first regents during regents week, and the very last regents. But yeah, so I'm just ignoring the classes. I'm not going to go to period 5 art right now. I'm just going to try to find my house. Go to art so you can paint your ugly face. Well, thank you very much, Principal. Jeez, I appreciate I'm gonna go to my house and I'll move the camera down so you can see Misha. Again, I don't have the second camera like I did last year. My second camera is at my other computer over there, which last year I didn't have. Well, actually I did. I, like, basically like a week or two after I recorded that video, I put that computer there. But yeah, gotta go find my house. I don't recognize the map whatsoever, so it's gonna be kind of a challenge to find my house. I mean, there's a button that says house over here. Oh, teleport to house. Oh, that's great. Teleport to house. Okay. This is the tradition here. I have to be at my house as I'm ranting about my school year. There we go. Obviously nothing changed about this house. Misha, Misha, you seem like you're about to like fall off the chair here. This school year has been a lot less eventful and crazy compared to last year. So last year, sorry I meant yo mama, oh my god, yeah this principal. So last year, June 2021, I was talking about how crazy 10th grade was. And yeah, 10th grade was very eventful, it was very crazy, it was a great year too. Like, you know, I progressively started going to school. Get Echo, no, cancel, I don't know what you're... C cancel why is she confused i don't even know as the school year progressed last year i was coming into school what is this oh jeez this principal is kind of annoying me here but last year i started coming in person more and more frequently as the year went on things like that and that's basically what i discussed for about 15 minutes while walking around my house in last year's episode so basically i said that in the summer you know i didn't know where the summer would take me and things like that i was talking about the internship and yeah i did the internship and it was great and I should be doing it this year as well. I don't know what I'm gonna start it probably hopefully earlier Hopefully earlier than I did last year I started it in around mid-july last year and I actually did the internship for about six or seven weeks So yeah, it was really long I, I think it was basically one of the last days in August like maybe August 28th or something like that when I finished the internship And yeah, I didn't really go on a vacation or anything I mean the closest thing I did was I went to the Rockaways, which is like uh, an area in Queens and they have some really Really nice beaches there come on principal but I went there that was like my only vacation really I did that basically a day or two after I finished my internship I do not want to press this button to open my inventory but I guess I have to come on I don't really care come on ah, get out of there so that was my only vacation I guess you would say but then on September 1st well, where do I begin with that? The flood happened. So if you've seen my channel, oh, Misha, what are you doing? So if you've been on my channel, you probably know about the flood, or if you know me personally, yeah, you're gonna know about the flood. So yeah, basically on September 1st, randomly at like 9 p.m. or something like that, we had remnants of a hurricane hit us here in southern New York, and yeah, my house got flooded. About one and a half feet of water got into my house, and yeah, that was a total freaking nightmare, like, as that was happening. I have a whole flood video on the channel, I have several announcement videos where, like, I talk about the flood and things like that. Flood was just a complete freaking nightmare, it was a major setback for a lot of things as well, but you know what? And what is this principal trying to say? I don't freaking know. <laughs> yeah, Flood was kind of a setback and stuff like that. And the crazy thing is, last year, I said stuff along the lines of, yeah, you know, a bunch of people have been saying, like, that we're gonna go to school fully in person at the start of next year, but I don't really believe that, because I feel like there could be something that happens that can prevent that. And guess what? The Flood was exactly that, because Ida also caused flooding in my school, and we were fully virtual up until November, which was a really weird thing for me because I was used to fully in-person school for that entire month, you know, May and June, I was used to going to school fully in-person, even though the school was basically at 10% capacity the whole time because most people were virtual or just came in for hybrid, so they came in on some days. But I had that, and then I had the whole summer of commuting to New York City and doing the internship. So transitioning from that, like, fully in-person activities and stuff like that, straight to fully virtual, you know, it was a weird transition and that whole like two two and a half three months how long was that i don't know i can't freaking do math right now what is this guy say? okay i'm just gonna ignore the principal from now on okay and this guy oh my god this principal is very judgmental let's say i'm just, just gonna ignore this principal but yeah those few months virtual i don't even know how to describe that like 
it, it was like, yeah, I, I remember those three months well, but like, it was just, it feels like that almost didn't even happen, or just, uh, like, what was that, basically? That's my mentality with those few months. I'm like, what was that? Like, that didn't even feel, I don't want to say it didn't feel real, but it was just like, so weird those few months virtual like i remember it did feel like a long time and now looking back at it it was like it, it literally almost feels like that didn't happen which is like really freaking weird to think about the most notable thing i remember during that time period is getting my driving permit and by the way i got my license literally a few days ago as well I'm gonna ignore the principle no matter how much i want to look at that message i'm not gonna look at that message i mean i see just a copy paste of probably this guy's name but yeah i got my permit in october basically around the time of my birthday so that's really the only thing I remember about the... Uh, well, not only thing I remember, but that's the most notable thing I remember from that time period. Oh, Misha. And as I said before, I got my license a couple of days ago. So, And actually, I have driven to school myself without anybody in the car. My dad let me actually use his car, which was great, actually. That was my first time ever, like, driving alone, like, a relatively long distance. And that was great. And I hope to actually get my own car pretty soon. That would be great, too. But anyway, after that virtual time period in November, everybody came to school fully in person. That was kind of weird because I was not used to everybody being in person. Like, I was used to the school being at 10% capacity on the last day of sophomore year. That was maybe 20% capacity, something like that. I was not used to there being so many people in the school. So it was kind of weird, but it was also kind of nice. Ignore the principal, ignore the principal. But it was nice having everybody fully in person as well. And, you know, things started to feel like normal let's say but honestly my junior year as a whole just felt very weird and like just almost uneventful i mean i don't want to say uneventful because a bunch of stuff did happen but it wasn't as eventful as sophomore year like let's just say that i mean basically from like november when we came fully in person to like maybe like march or april like that whole time period basically felt like the same i don't know how to explain it same thing like with that time when we were virtual it's like a lot of the year just felt like the same it was just like repetition of everything like i, I don't really know how to explain it i i genuinely don't have like all these like crazy stories i don't want to say crazy stories but i don't have like these stories to say like oh yeah we were in person for like two days and then covid shut stuff down and then like yeah no i i don't have stories like that to tell a lot of the year was just like normal but normal to a point where like yeah it was just kind of it felt uneventful for me like i don't know but you know this year was necessary like as a transition year between like you know the the weirdness of 2021 and like you know hybrid school and all that stuff and covid actually like leaving and stuff like that that, like this year was needed as a transition year to get from that to a fully normal 2019 level normal year or at least that's what I think you know I'm gonna go into my senior year in a couple of months from now I have no clue how that's gonna feel like I don't know if that's gonna feel as normal like as 2019 but you know what I genuinely feel like it will be maybe not as normal as 2019 and pre-pandemic years but you know I, I do feel like it'll be more normal and more eventful than this year but once again I feel like this year even though it was just kind of weird random and uneventful I feel like it was needed as a transition out of COVID back to real life so hopefully that made sense now nah, Misha's looking at the camera here nice also I just have to mention this but this year was ridiculously fast at least for me I don't care come on every time I start talking like there's so many distractions happening but this year was ridiculously fast like geez I mentioned last year about how fast sophomore year felt or at least I think I did and even if I didn't mention how fast I thought it went well now you know sophomore year was ridiculously fast for me junior year I'm not even kidding probably felt twice as fast as sophomore year did I have no freaking clue how fast senior year is gonna feel I don't know if it's going to be twice as fast as junior year or if it's going to be the same as junior year or whatever, but if it is twice as fast as junior year, Jesus, I can't even imagine how fast that would feel. Because, like, ninth grade, every year I've gone through in high school has literally felt twice as fast as the previous Avnisha. Like, 10th grade felt twice as fast as 9th grade, 11th grade felt twice as fast as 10th grade, and, you know, I don't know how senior year is going to feel, but 
pff, I don't know. I really don't know. This year went by so freaking fast. It does not feel like it should be the end of the year. It feels like it should maybe be January or February right now. Definitely not freaking June. I still can't comprehend how in a few months I'm going to be a senior. I still can't even comprehend how I finished 8th grade. So, I think you can imagine. Going from how did I even finish 8th grade to how am I almost a senior. I mean, that's a pretty freaking massive jump. I feel like it was ba maybe a month or two ago at most where I sat here and I made this epi exact episode last year. Nope, it's been literally a year. It's been a year. That, just just even letting that sink in for me is, is crazy. Like, I can't even let that sink in. That's how crazily fast time has been for me. Yeah, and honestly, like, as a whole, this year... It wasn't, I don't want to say it wasn't that great of a year, because it was. I just feel like I, I haven't utilized this year, almost. But this year, I made a lot of new friends. Oh, and speaking of which, I accidentally opened a menu that said friends. I gained a lot of new experiences. I learned a ton of new things. I expanded my knowledge on a bunch of stuff. Like, it was a really good year. But the thing is... I don't think I fully utilized that year. I did not enjoy it as much as I really should have. It felt like a dull year, and that's just the fact of it. Even though, ideally, like, it should have felt like a really great and eventful year, like, in reality, it just didn't feel like that. It honestly just felt weird. I don't know why. It just felt like some weird, uneventful, transitional year. Despite the fact that so many good things have happened this year, I gained so many new experiences, made new friends, all of that, it just genuinely hasn't felt like a, that amazing of a year. I, I think it's just because last year was like, you know, all locked down and COVID and just barely, you know, reopening, things like that, to now actually being reopened, but like very weirdly. COVID didn't just abruptly end. Like, honestly, when the pandemic first started like in March 2020 I thought that you know and so did everybody we thought that it would end in two weeks and life would just go back to normal completely I didn't know that it would take a year of reopening and a year of just transition transitional uneventfulness let's just call it that for life to go back to normal and at this point with the situation with Co with covid like things are m very much back to normal at this point like covid mandates for everything are almost completely gone like i don't even need to worry about covid or any pandemic or anything when i go out now like at this point it's literally it's very very freaking close to being totally over i mean i don't think covid will ever officially be over i think that'll happen over a period of you know months and we are within that period right now we are very 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 freaking close to totally being out of the pandemic and i can definitely feel that so yeah, we've come a long way since the end of my sophomore year, and here we are, honestly. That, that's basically all I have to say about that. Alright, I think we are done with this year's spiel, and I only did that in 22 minutes, and I'm probably going to edit that down relatively considerably. Maybe not as much as I edited last year's, because I think I actually have gotten better at talking and not having to pause to think about what to say next. I think I, I've gotten a little bit better at just kind of figuring out what I'm going to say as I go. By the way, haven't done this in a while, so, so hey, editor. Light. Oh, uh, by the way, I have a question for you, Editor Light. What time is it right now? What day is it? Just, just what's going on right now? Like, just, just tell me what's happening. Hey, Light from the Roblox High School 2 video. So it's actually tomorrow right now. It's Monday. It's 8:46 p.m. right now. And yeah, I'm gonna record the vlog tomorrow. I'm about halfway done editing the video. Clearly, you're probably about halfway done watching this video right now. Probably gonna spend like the next hour or so editing this, something like that. Then I'm gonna put this video to render, and then tomorrow I'm gonna create the thumbnail, chapters, all that sort of stuff. And the video is gonna go on premiere on Wednesday after my Regents. All right, cool. So that gives you an idea as to when I'm editing this. All right. So now let's move on to simulating a day of my classes. Also, I have no idea where my house is, how far away it is from the school, anything like that. Where the heck is the school? I don't even know. There's like a bridge and everything here. All right, so let's travel to the school. And oh, looks like we're going through some tram. That There were pantographs on that tram, but there wasn't any uh, catenary. Ooh, wow. Okay, yeah, the school looks drastically different. Misha. There was an option for school campus here. Let me actually just go outside. I, I just want to see how the campus looks like. Nice. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention this in this video, but I will do a last day of school vlog as well. Yeah, but guess what? I mentioned that. That'll either come out like last week of June or sometime in early July, most likely. For my internship, probably. Misha. Okay, so this is the high school over here. Already looks totally different, and I have no idea why there are a couple of lockers just aligned on the way here into the main entrance of the school. It's a little bit weird, but okay, sure. I actually have a locker this year, but uh, the weird thing is you have to sign up for a locker at 
I don't want to say the beginning of the year, but uh, when we just came back in person, uh, we had to sign up for lockers, and yeah, I have a locker, but not a lot of people do. And the weird thing is, back when everybody had lockers and actually used their lockers, I never used my lockers, but this year is probably the first year I legit use my locker, and this is the only year when I'm probably the only freaking one that uses my locker, so that's kind of ironic. Here, actually, let, let's let's pretend, since we're pretending this is a day of school, let's pretend it's first period right now, even though it's 1.19 a.m. Them, right let's actually just walk into the school so anyway my locker is basically when I walk in I don't go in through the main entrance I go in through like a side entrance of my school it's called the night school entrance at my school but I would go inside I would actually go up a stairwell on the right and then I would go upstairs and my locker would be down a hallway like this way uh, but you know I can't perfectly simulate that obviously but let's pretend my lockers right here okay so let, let's, let's just say this is my locker right I'm actually putting away my books for my afternoon classes and I'm keeping the books that I had for my morning classes me, me. I don't know if Misha wants to take a nap or something. Okay, so let's say I've finished up my locker here, so now I'm gonna go to class. <laughs> so my first class is pre-calc, and I have no idea where the math class is in the school, because yeah, they changed around the school too, obviously. Where the heck is the math classroom? I don't know. Should I even be bothered to find it, or should I just go to some random class? I don't know. What is this? This is a library or something? I guess this is a library. It's a pretty small library though. The library at my school is freaking massive, but it's been closed all year because of the flood. It got a ton of flood damage, and like, yeah, they still haven't finished like rebuilding it. And I have no idea what's happened with the books or anything. See, the weird thing is, I literally have not been to the library at my school since freshman year because it's been closed all year in 10th grade just because of COVID, and you know, there was no demand for it really, considering the school was at like 10% capacity. No one really needed the library. They actually made the upper cafeteria. <laughs> they made the upper cafeteria into like a study hall so you actually couldn't even eat there last year so that was basically the the library but now they, they wanted to open the library this year but uh, yeah the flood so yeah we don't have a library still i don't know if over the summer they're gonna they're gonna finish upgrading it repairing it stuff like that I, I don't know but hopefully they will and hopefully next year i'll actually be able to use the library because that's one thing that i miss about freshman year being able to use the library misha i know my arm is in the way but yeah, this arm is in the way, but yeah, because Misha, Misha kind of does what he wants. He just, sometimes he wants to lay down, sometimes he wants to sit down. Yeah. All right, anyway, let me find my math class. Well, my math classroom. Let me just find the math classroom if I can. My math class is on the first floor in my real school, obviously. Oh, they have an elevator. Down one floor. Down one floor. Ah, oh, this is like a basement over here, too. Teleport. The door is locked. Oh, of course it is. That's great. Up one floor. Let's go up one floor again. All right. They have an elevator here. Is this the whole school? Did they just make the school? Oh, this is a math class right here. <laughs> Finally. But yeah, I feel like they actually made the school smaller, though. It looks smaller as well. I feel like it was a lot bigger than this before. But anyway, we're here in the math classroom. Basically, this is where I sit in my math class, actually. I I would sit right here. I sit like in the back corner over here. Uh, the door would actually be like at the front over here. I don't know why she's sitting in here as well. I'm just, oh, Misha. <laughs> you can't even see him at this point anymore. You, you can't see him a little bit. My camera's as low as it can be physically right now. Oh, another one in the math class. All right, so I guess we're having like a little unofficial math class over here. It's Misha's trying to take a nap or something like that. All right, so yeah, th this is just my math class over here. I literally sit in the corner. The door's over here. Right now in pre-calc, we're literally doing nothing. I mean, we, we've we been doing nothing for basically the past week or so because after our final, we literally haven't been doing anything whatsoever. Uh, Ryan, or Turbo Laser Gaming, is still doing stuff in his pre-calc class. He probably is still going to be doing stuff literally until Tuesday. I can guarantee you on Tuesday his class is still going to be doing work because that's just how his teacher is like. So anyway, yeah, let's just say that's the end of math. So depending on on what day it is I can either have gym or I can have a double period in physics so let's just say that today I have gym let's say that this is an odd day I think I, yeah I have gym on odd days so let's just pretend it's an odd day oh and supposedly supposedly they're gonna get rid of even and odd days next year and they're just gonna have like one set of even days one set of odd days basically just like a day one and two which to me I think is a completely terrible idea considering people use the days for like let's say science classes like for the doubles in science it's like most science classes will have a double two out of the six days but some don't like AP classes don't like 
my physics class i have a double every other day and gym every other day so i'm okay in that sense but like last year when i had chem and the year before when i had earth science like i only had a double on two out of those days and on one of those days i had a free period so how the heck is that gonna work now are they just not gonna give free periods like that would suck i mean it's not really gonna affect me but that would suck for mostly the freshmen and sophomores uh who are doing that stuff like that like non ap science classes that would freaking suck for them so i think it's a terrible idea but i, I don't know if they're officially doing that but they said that they were gonna do that hey, Misha. again don't know if it's an official thing but anyway sticking with the schedule that we've had this year and that we've literally always had let's just pretend it's an odd day even though the actual last day of school will be an even day so i'll have a double and i can guarantee you in physics we're gonna be doing work we're gonna review for the regions no way we're not doing work we're gonna do work on the last day for sure so let's go into the gym and let's say this is the gym right here it's literally the exact opposite scenario in my school the gym is actually on the second floor in my school and my pre-cal class is on the first floor so yeah i would have actually had to go up but uh, anyway, you know, just say we're in gym here. Uh, realistically, li lately in gym, I've been going off to the side, just kind of sitting down because they have like curtains set up in the gym. So like I'm out of view from any of the teachers and stuff. And I would literally just like sit over here, like in the corner or something. And I have like volleyball set up. And then if a teacher comes around, I'd actually walk a little forward, pretend I'm doing something. But in reality, I'm not. And I would just stand in the corner. So this is, this is how a realistic gym period looks like for me. So yeah, this is gym. And I would just either talk to my friends or not really be on my phone mostly i would just talk to my friends during gym okay let's say gym is over so my next class now is physics i have physics period three every day and by the way next year ideally i think i should have physics oh this looks like a science class i should have physics period by the way i'm talking about ap physics two this year i'm taking ap physics one but next year i should have ap physics two period seven and eight period eight being the class that i have a double on some days and on the other day when i don't have a double i'll I'll have a free so ideally i could just go home right after period seven next year and if i'll have a car i hope i'll have a car by senior year if i have a car i'll be able to literally just drive home so that would be great i i don't really like having double periods in the morning i don't know why double periods in the morning kind of suck I, I i definitely prefer them in the afternoon especially next year when i ideally would be able to go home like when i have a single period so that would be great but anyway let's let's just say even though this is more like a chem classroom i don't think they really have like a physics class over here uh i would sit actually yeah in in this row oh misha now you could like barely see him at all i sit roughly like over here I mean, my physics class has, like, desks. They don't have, like, these two-seater things over here. They would have actual desks. But, uh, yeah, I would be basically at the third one at this side of the classroom. The door would actually be right over here. And, uh, yeah, right now, if it was the last day, I would be doing regents prep probably right here. So, yeah, let's just say, oh, yeah, doing some regents prep and physics right now. And, oh, yeah, bell rang. Now it's time for lunch. By the way, I have lunch period four. And I have had lunch period four every single year since eighth grade so eighth ninth tenth and eleventh i've had lunch period four i have no idea what period i'm gonna have lunch next year but it would be great if i have period four lunch again next year and by the way i like having period four lunch like the most by the way like i like having lunch early in the day don't know why i'm actually i i don't even get hungry after period four which is the weird thing but in the morning i'm more hungry even though i have breakfast cafeteria seems quite smaller like honestly what why did they make the school smaller they made it like a much more like grand and huge like on the outside but like on the inside it's so small like what the heck even is this is this the cafeteria or is this like a like a staff lounge or something like no this has to be the cafeteria right but yet their merch store is freaking massive like yeah sure that makes sense but make the cafeteria this small all right anyway well actually i go to the house one cafeteria this year uh because my friend justin or the cool dude 2349 because he goes over there too so actually and it is smaller and last year they had a bigger cafeteria and last year i went to the house four cafeteria mostly which is basically twice the size as this that is actually pretty fitting so anyway let's see what what, what food do we want here let's see let's let's grab some well can we even grab anything we may not might not be able to grab anything oh chill lunch lady okay hey yo welcome to the cafeteria well, let me actually move the camera up because we should sitting up now could i get a lunch please yes coming right up all right 
What lunch do we want? Let's get a Chez Burger. Buy one for $3. By the way, lunches are still free at my school because of COVID. And, uh, yeah, the lunches are still... They're still not totally back to how they used to be in 2019, but they're, they're definitely getting there. They're very close to it. And they still don't have the snack line. I mean, they actually do have the snack line sort of built into the food checkout, which is a little bit weird uh, because they just have chips. Like, they don't have anything else they used to have. Like, this, the place where the snack line used to be is still, like, empty. They do have some sort of snack line built into the register, so... So, not, not a totally normal snack line, but hopefully, hopefully, next year, they will actually have the fully normal snack line and fully normal lunch service, too. Anyway, where the heck is my cheeseburger? Didn't I buy a cheeseburger for $3? Where is my cheeseburger? Am I gonna have to buy another cheeseburger? Let me buy another cheese... Sorry, cheeseburger. I'll buy another one. Oh, I own this item, it says. Yeah, but where do I access this? Over here? No, it's inventory. All right, let's just say I ate my cheeseburger. Okay, I ate my cheeseburger. Now let's go to next period. So my next class is U.S. History. I gotta find the history classroom now. Originally in U.S. History, I was supposed to be do doing nothing this week, and last week I was supposed to... Well, I had a final, but after the final and the uh, civic literacy essay, I actually... Well, I don't want to go into detention. I was supposed to do nothing, but uh, yeah, we are doing stuff now, because apparently they got to change a plan, so uh, yeah, we're going to have to work on some SEQs this week, which is kind of going to suck, but whatever, that's okay. So we ended up actually not working on any SEQs. Like, today in history, we literally just watched a movie the whole time, and there were too many people who did didn't finish their civic literacy essay that the teachers were actually helping them so we got to find if they even have a history classroom if they don't I guess I'll go back in the math classroom I guess okay this is a computer lab I mean my class is definitely not in a computer lab but whatever that works so in my history class the desks are arranged in groups and yeah this middle section wouldn't even exist here actually it would just be like these two basically aligned like against the wall it's kind of a weird setup but I would sit basically over here my back would be against this wall there's actually like a map behind me and I'd be facing here and the door would actually be over here but yeah let's just say I'm in history so yeah it's my history class I'm writing a civic literacy essay or SEQ or whatever definitely not on a computer I think we use our computers literally the least in history oh um, by the way now it's it's actually like a norm to bring your own computer to school like because of last year but uh, ninth grade and before and before COVID or anything you would just use Chromebooks that the school gave you but now they don't even give Chromebooks anymore you're kind of expected to bring your own computer every day now even though we're you know out of the pandemic out of hybrid and we're in fully in-person school now you still are expected to bring your own computer to school so yeah fun fact there so we actually don't even utilize the computer labs or uh, chromebooks as often unless you have a class in a computer lab which a bunch of people do so anyway let's just say history is over my next period is english i don't know if there's an english classroom but uh sure you know what Let, let's just go well actually let's let's actually go downstairs i i think i did see an english classroom unless i'm going crazy but i think I actually oh yeah this is an English classroom right here okay so good thing I checked English classroom right here no that's a library never mind you know we can pretend that the library is an English class that's okay even though we only have two desks in here uh in English the desks are actually set up weirdly they're kind of set up like you got rows going this way like facing this way and you also have rows facing this way as well I would actually sit uh, at a seat facing this way and I'd be sitting let, let's just say over here that's let's say that's the closest I mean obviously we don't have two tables we have actual rows like facing this way I break my neck every freaking time I try to look at the board and I actually really dislike desk uh, the that desk setup but uh, yeah that's that's how it was like in my English class so yeah let's say I'm in English over here I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any regents prep in English I don't think so I think my teacher actually said that we were doing some uh, common app prompts for college essays on Monday and Tuesday so that should actually be pretty nice as well shouldn't be that bad as well but I don't think we're gonna be doing regions prep we already did a good amount of regions prep and I actually got a predicted region score of a 91 which uh, I think I could actually even do better than that uh, because I kind of half donkeyed as I say uh, the multiple choice section there you go let's say English is over so my next class is science research which let's just go to the science classroom again which I think was on the second floor or was it on the first floor? No, I think it was on the second floor. So let's, let's up one floor, uh, unless I'm wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. <laughs> it was down here. Yep, it's down here. All right, in science research, I sit, yeah, right here, except the door is uh, is over here. 
it's not right back here. There are windows back here, doors over here. Science research, we're doing nothing. We're, I mean, preparing for the for our, our projects next summer, I guess. Okay, let's say that's it. Now we have eighth period, and eighth period, I have Italian. And yeah, there isn't gonna be any Italian classroom, but uh, you know what, let's go, let's go to a classroom we haven't been to late yet, like the art classroom, why not? So this is the last period of the day. I highly doubt that on Tuesday we're gonna be doing anything. We actually just finished our final yesterday. It was a two-day final. We did it on Thursday and Friday, so I finished that yesterday. We're probably not gonna be doing anything tomorrow or the day after, realistically. I hope we're not. Okay, uh, in Italian, yeah, in Italian we actually do sit in groups as well, and these are kind of grouped as well. I sit either either here or here, cl closer to the door, but like some, somewhere over here. So let's just say that's Italian, and yay, okay, finish Italian, yay, that's the end of school, so yay, we're done for the year. That was my simulated day of classes. So let's just jump down here, because that's very realistic. Let's walk out these doors, and yay. All right, we are out of school, but unfortunately, tomorrow, assuming, you know, I'm simulating, like, the actual last day of school, I have my English Regents, and the thing is, this video is probably going to premiere on Wednesday, so the day you're watching this, especially if you're watching this during the premiere, uh, I already finished my English Regents, most likely, and, because I'm probably not going to premiere this, realistically, I'm not going to premiere this on Tuesday, uh, because Tuesday is the last day of school, but uh, I literally have to go to school the next day, I gotta wake up early and everything, to take my English Regents, but after the English Regents, we're basically done. I mean, I have the Physics Regents in, like, basically two weeks, but hey, I don't need to come into school at all during those two weeks, so I can basically chill during those two weeks. But the day you are watching this is real. there's a really good chance that you're watching this after I took my English Regents, so you're probably not watching this on my actual last day of school. You're watching this the day after my last day of school, but, I, you know, honestly, I don't know how Tuesday after school is gonna feel. I don't know if it's gonna feel like, oh, yay, last day, yay, like, exciting, or if it's it's gonna be like I have a Regents tomorrow so it's not gonna be like as exciting but it is gonna be the first last day of school with everybody in school like everybody fully in person which is yeah that's gonna be something else I don't know how that feels because ninth grade no one was in school 10th grade 20% of people were in school this year everybody's gonna be in school so that should be a new experience and of course next year is gonna be the biggest one you know it's gonna be the graduation edition basically because I mean you know it's gonna be my senior Senior year, it's gonna be last day of senior year, like, oh, that's gonna be exciting. I've been recording for 44 minutes, and I probably did edit this down, but probably not too extensively, actually. So that is going to be the end of this episode, and by the way, I mentioned this 10 million times before, but this is the last video of the streak. After this, you're not gonna see any videos on this channel for probably another week or two, and I'm gonna be taking it easy during the summer in terms of uploads, so yeah. I will definitely upload the vlog sometime late June, early July of the last day of school. But yeah, last official video of the streak, so I can officially say that yes, I uploaded videos every single week without fail during my junior year, so. <laughs> last video of the streak here, this is the last week of junior year, last video that I'll be uploading in the streak. So, that is going to be the end of this episode, thank you for watching, and goodbye.